Hey there guys, this is Snowy88 and you are probably wondering what you are seeing now. You are seeing a fragment of the Voyager intro in which you can see Voyager flying above a ring system probably orbiting a gas giant. Now, if you look closely you can see that the reflection of Voyager is visible at the ring system. Now we also know that Voyager is only 345 meters in length. So based on this uh, facts I calculated that the rings in this situation are only 2 kilometers in size. So, in the intro, Voyager flies a bit further on and you have to think about the blue line going somewhat further more out of the image. So, the dark blue line, that is the space that separates the rings between the planets, is about one kilometer. If the rings are about 2 kilometers, then the, the, the dark blue area, which is about the half of the, of the size of the rings, is 1 kilometer. So what did I do? I took the, the image out of Voyager and uh, put my paint skills to the test and made a sphere, a sphere which matches the planet, the part of the planet we see in this image. Well, if you take the red line and compare it to the dark blue line, you can calculate that the red line is about three times as long as the dark blue line, which means that the planet is three kilometers in size. So that is a very huge ass planet. <laughs> so this is uh, basically not right. Uh, if uh, if uh, the makers of this intro uh, would be more accurate and place Voyager above a Saturn-like planet with rings, then Voyager would be much more smaller and would certainly not fly as fast over the rings as depicted in the intro here. Because remember, if you take the planet Saturn, which is 120,000 kilometers in diameter, imagine the scale of the rings. Now I'm not very sure about the scale of them, but I know they are very, very, very big. Uh, I think uh, so. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm not sure about it um, because I'm doing this commentating on the fly, and I'm thinking about the diameter of Saturn rings, and I can quickly Google for it if you have a minute. Diameter. Diameter, diameter of Saturn's rings. Okay, uh, two hundred and fifty thousand kilometers. Well, that's a big distance, and as we know, uh, uh, Federation spaceships usually don't go to warp within the within a solar system or near a planet. Well, there are some exceptions because, yeah, well, Star Trek is, is not always uh, correct, but, but in this case, we can assume that, uh, that, that Voyager would be very small compared to Saturn's rings. So, uh, this image, well, you can look at it and you can uh, uh, you can uh, agree with me or you can disagree with me and feel free to comment this issue and I think <laughs> I think it's a valid thing I think it's uh, it's safely to assume that Voyager is uh, is well 
the size of Voyager has been stated before. The reflection of Voyager is clearly visible on the rings, so it's fl flying very closely to the rings. So the rings, the size of the rings can be calculated roughly. So the gap between the rings and the planet can be calculated roughly, and the planet can be calculated roughly. So gas giants of three kilometers in size do not exist. Even uh, uh, rocky planets of three ki kilometers in size do not exist. Uh, a planet has to be at least five, 500 kilometers in size to get a round shape. Uh, otherwise it uh, will be an irregular planet. So, but these are just fun facts and I thought, well, it would be a nice video to make and, and it's just fun. And uh, please give me some feedback. I know you like this stuff and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.